So this could be literally the best piece of advice that you hear, and that is to just stop moaning and get on with it. So I wanna just cover three things that tend to happen if you keep delaying what you know you should be doing. So first of all, if you keep delaying the inevitable, you are ultimately gonna create more anxiety for yourself. The more you keep putting things off, the more you find reasons to not do something, it is only gonna increase that anxiety and worry for that moment when you know that you really need to do it and you don't have much of a choice. Also, leaving things to the last minute, especially if it was jobs or like, like for example, maybe a presentation or something for work and you kept putting it off, or maybe it was a, uh, a uni project or something, but you kept putting it off more and more, you're gonna either create dread or guilt and regret for yourself. So with the dread, the more you are anticipating this stressful moment, you are gonna obviously increase your anxiety tenfold with that and you're gonna get all the sort of symptoms, you're gonna get all of these limiting beliefs kicking like, oh no, I can't do this, oh, I'm gonna really struggle with this. And you're just gonna be fighting yourself throughout that entire journey with completing your tasks. And then when you finally pop that bubble or overcome that barrier and you do start working on your projects, you're just gonna end up rushing it and then you're gonna start feeling that regret of like, well, why didn't I do this sooner? Oh, I can't believe it, I finally got into it and now I've got so little time to complete this. And that again could be for anything. Um, I've used the example here for, for work because that's certainly the easiest one, but maybe let's say you knew that you were going on holiday in a few months time and you wanted to work on your physique. You wanted to make yourself look good so when you knew that you were there and you were socializing and meeting people and maybe even trying to get dates, then you could be showing off this body that you'd be proud of. You know that would uh, distill a lot more confidence in you and instead that's now been replaced with this rush of like, I'm not gonna get that result that, that I wanted. Um, so, one other thing before I do give you uh, the, the outcome of what you should be doing is that you're also, if you are delaying not completing the goals and tasks that you need to, you're only gonna end up creating this really long list that's gonna just put you off even more so from uh, uh, working on your goals and uh, the challenges that you know that you need to complete. So if you're creating this list for yourself, you know inevitably that you need to work on these, especially if you wanna get results in any area of your life. And then when you finally push yourself literally to that point that you have no choice, that you have to do it, and then you do it, and then you go, oh, that actually wasn't so bad. And then you are just filled with regret by because you didn't do it sooner, or you didn't give yourself as much of an opportunity as you should have to complete those tasks, then we've just created a lot of anxiety for yourself for absolutely no reason at all, especially when you did have plenty of time before. So what can you do to overcome this? Well, besides the obvious uh, title that I've got for this video, um, you do need to set yourself smaller, much more achievable tasks, uh, especially every day. Um, I like the idea of doing something very incrementally. If you don't like the idea of doing like uh, one big job or trying to complete one big task, why not break that down into smaller tasks, create an even uh, uh, more niche ni uh, list for that particular goal and just do a couple of them per day. As long as you're doing something working towards the end goal or results that you're trying to uh, achieve, then that is better than just putting everything off completely and going like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow or like, oh, I don't really wanna do this. You know, all of these excuses are only gonna just feed that negativity and again, that anxiety that's gonna make doing any task for yourself more scary and it's just gonna demotivate you. But 
the one thing that definitely you can do, and this is something that I do, is that I um, verbally and uh, and physically state the action that I want to do, and then I take the action. So if let's say I have a job that I need to do, and as soon as that limiting belief or that uh, complaint comes out, like oh, do I really need to do this now, or, or should I do it later? I literally say out loud verbally, stop moaning and get on with it. And then the physicality of it is then I will maybe open up some Word document or something or whatever the job is that I need to do, I will then actively walk myself towards that thing that I need to complete and I just do it. So if you are finding that you are struggling to be a bit more motivated or you are causing yourself anxiety with things that you know that you need to complete and do, what I want you to do is just say out loud to yourself, of course, stop moaning and just get on with it. And if you can hear yourself saying it and you force your body to do the action that you need to do. So if you needed to go to the gym, then you go, right, stop moaning, just get on with it, put your shoes on, grab your car keys and let's go to the gym or let's walk to the gym, whatever. If you know that you need to go shopping, stop moaning, just get on with it, head to the supermarket, buy what you need. So hopefully this makes sense. And obviously this is something that can be applied to every area of your life, especially if maybe you're working on projects and stuff. If you've got a presentation, stop moaning, just get on with it. Open up PowerPoint, go on the internet, get the information you need and just start working on it. Force yourself to be motivated and there is an element of uh, of method acting that takes play there, especially when you are hearing yourself aloud, projecting the action that you want to take. And I can assure you that you might be a little bit more motivated to complete your tasks. So I hope this video was useful for you. If ever in doubt and you feel a little bit demotivated or you've clearly caused anxiety for yourself um, with a task or a goal that you're looking to achieve, whether it be in your normal life or in dating, just say to yourself, stop moaning and get on with it. Like and subscribe stay up to date on all of the rest of my videos. And I would also love to hear some other ideas of videos that you would like me to make to help you with your motivation as well.